Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to be changing the broken handle on this chainsaw, this still MS-180 chainsaw. So I bought a new one, it's an OEM part, and right from still. So all we have to do is take this one off and put this one on. Now I'm going to be honest with you, it's my first time changing a handle on a chainsaw. I don't know how it's going to go. I hear that one of the grommets down in here is a bit tough to get out and play with. Chances are you have to replace the handle on your chainsaw and that's why you found this video. Don't worry, we'll get it done. That's the name of our channel, Getting It Done North of Seven. I know we'll get it done. So let's get started. So I've already done this, but the first thing you want to do is make sure that your handle, your new handle, is the same as your broken one. And I lined them up. It looks exactly the same. I got the right part. So we'll get started with this. Now you may be wondering how I broke it. See where it broke there? It's not very strong, right? So I'll, I'll be honest, I ran over it with my ATV. By mistake, of course, but uh, that's what happened. And it was a costly mistake. So now I have to fix it. Had to buy a new one. But I this is a really good chainsaw. So I wanted to do it. And fix it right i know there's aftermarket parts i didn't want to go that route i wanted to get the oem part and uh, put it on back on my chainsaw and have it just like new again so under here the handle comes around here and there's another grommet here we have to take out so i'm going to remove the chain and the bar and i'll remove this part so we can have easy access to this Take that apart. You can see that's a little messy in there. Put that over here. Clean that up after. We'll blow all this out. We'll take the bar right off the sprocket, or right off this part here, and take the chain off the sprocket. We'll clean all this up after. So this is the part here we got to get at to take this off. I'm going to take this off just because if I'm working around here, I don't want to catch my hand or my arm on this. So we'll take that little, uh, that little flesh eater off. Now I'm going to put parts in a container here just so that I don't misplace them or lose them. That's not fun either. All right, guys, don't mind my messy workshop. I had to change locations for this repair because it was cold in the garage and this was getting a little longer than I'd hoped. I What happened was I took the plugs out of here. There's two, uh, two plugs here and there's one plug here. They're a hard plastic and as with any plastic, when it's cold, it's more brittle. So I broke the first one trying to get it out. So I brought it in the house. I let the chainsaw warm up and I got the got the other two out actually this one here it broke so much i couldn't pry it out i put a self-tapping screw down the center of it and then pried and pulled that screw and the and the plastic plug came out so what i what i did was i phoned my service man at our local steel dealer and i said what is the best way to get those plugs out and you, you didn't tell me you were gonna it was gonna be so hard he said well he says, he says what he does, and he's pretty good at his job. He says, I pry it open with a screwdriver. I tried the little one too. And he says, I put a pair of needle nose pliers in behind the plug and pry the best way I can to get it out. And you know what? It worked. I got these skinny little uh, needle nose pliers and they really worked. And I bent this one a little bit. So that's where we're at. We're in the basement now. So now I'll take the trigger apart and we'll go from there. Now I didn't show you taking those plugs out because I was having such trouble. It took me close to probably 45 minutes to get them all out, all three of them. So I, I thought I'll just spare you the, the pain of watching me do it and try to stab myself. And uh, uh, I'll just come back when I get to another part. Now these here might be a pain too, but we'll find out. I hear. I watched a guy in a video do this and it's looked really hard. So you gotta be careful you don't stab yourself or hurt yourself when you're doing these things because you really gotta do some prying. Okay, so I'm a part where I'm taking apart the trigger. This here, 
fits right in here. There was a screw right here and there's a screw here. All you got to do is kind of bend this down just a little bit to get that screw out and then just wiggle this out. Now I'm going to take this spring, this, this thing right here. I'm going to take this out of here. And I just want to pay attention to what I'm doing so I know where it goes again. And that basically is just going to come out of here. And I'll have to unhook this part here off of the trigger. And it'll just come off of here. I gotta. I need two hands. So yeah, I just had to wiggle the, the trigger finger off of this here. That's all I was worried about getting this off of this little thing here. At this point, we'll just take this off of here. This part here. Put that with our parts and we are free to take those rubbers out on the other side again we're free to take this rubber out and this rubber out in here and i'm telling you it's not going to be easy i may destroy those i'll have to get new rubbers i already need one new plug here so we'll see what happens that's probably why there's only one video on youtube of this because it's not fun okay as you can see we got the handle back on so when I was taking the caps off of here, I destroyed the rubber mount inside here. So I needed another rubber mount. This one was ripped a bit, but not bad. I think it would have gotten, I would have gotten by with it. This one here was fine. I didn't wreck the rubber mount, but in my wisdom <laughs> and watching another video, I thought, well, why don't I just take all those rubber mounts out and I'll replace them with new rubber mounts. That was a mistake because all I had to do was replace this rubber mount. I could have left the other two in and got away with it. The mistake was because this was really hard to get this rubber mount back in. Because on the other side of the rubber mount, inside here, against the head of the engine, is another plastic cap. So you got a rubber mount between two plastic caps. It's near impossible to get that rubber mount into the white plastic and over and around the plastic cap on the other side. But we did it because we cut the plastic cap off because I, I looked inside this white plastic part, you have to squeeze that rubber mount into the white plastic as well. There's like a rim inside the plastic and it, it's more than strong enough to hold this. It really is. So we don't have the plastic cap on this side. I know it's gonna be strong enough to hold everything together. So that's where we're at. We got our handle back on, rubber mounts, plastic caps are all in place. So now, all I really have to do is put everything back together, the body, put the bar on, the chain, the trigger, and we're, we should be good to go. Okay, I got the side cover here put back on. And we'll just put the screws back in here and we'll get this thing back together. I'll put it all back together and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, I got everything back together. I got the trigger all together. I got the... The filter back on, the air filter, I blew it out. I got the cover back on. I got the bar and the chain back on. I put this uh, this thing here. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> but it's on. So we're just starting to button it all up now. And now I'll just adjust the tension on the, on the chain. We'll get that tightened up where we want it. You know this has been quite a this has been quite a journey with this thing because I I uh, I've never done anything like this before with a chainsaw but you know with the help of a uh, few videos and images on on Google I pretty much uh, figured it out I think I'll tighten that up just a tad more so from what I can see the chainsaw is all back together now feels really good and solid these caps here are in place. Everything looks good, it's snug. So now it's just a matter of putting it to work and trying it out to make sure that everything worked out great. I'm gonna fire it up and see how it goes here because I did have everything apart. I even had the fuel tank out to undo the, I had to undo the fuel line, remove the fuel tank to get one of the rubbers out at the back here, yeah, back here behind the fuel tank. So that was a thing. <laughs> I put everything back together, hopefully right, hooked the fuel line up, and uh, we're good to go. So we have the easy start on this, so you don't have to crank it too hard. You just lift it. So 
Okay, she burped. Knock it down. So we, we replaced the broken handle that was on the still MS-180C. Um, like I said, I probably did a little more work than I had to do because I wrecked those rubbers inside those rubber mounts inside the handle. It was my first time doing it. And you know what? Getting those caps off are a, are a real pain. So I see another guy doing a video about it. And he had a hard time with it too. He fought and struggled just like I did. But... I mean, I, I didn't have to replace those two other rubber mounts, but I did end up replacing all three. I didn't really have to replace all three, but I learned something. And uh, you know what? It runs now. It's good. And I'm not afraid to take a chainsaw apart anymore now. So I hope you learned something from this uh, video because it was a struggle. I made a couple mistakes. Like I said, it's my first time. I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything. Obviously, it's my first time. So I just went to work and got it done. You could get it done too. You know, you just look at some diagrams on uh, Google. Pull up some diagrams if you're having trouble putting anything back together. It's pretty easy to figure out. And also, there's videos. There's this video. There's other videos on YouTube. You can pretty much figure anything out and put it, do the work yourself if you want to save a little bit of money instead of paying a repairman. So I guess I'll wrap it up. I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.